So we're going to record and there's the train and it's windy. Perfect. Anyway, it's a big day here because the sawmill is here. So I ordered this sawmill quite a while ago off of Alibaba and it is a Rima RS31G. And today I am finally gonna get to dig into it. And I gotta make this quick because I gotta go to work soon. But here it is. So first of all, we'll explain what I've got on my crates. I've got the sharpener here and the sawmill all is in this crate. So just for reference for size, this is the sawmill box is the crate is like 82 inches long. And this was about I think 800 pounds, 900 pounds, a couple hundred pounds. Altogether, my package was around 1100 pounds. So first of all, let's pop off some shrink wrap. We'll get the sharpener out of the way. I don't need to be sharpening the things just yet. Yeah, that is not 200 pounds. That's less than 100, I think. I am incredibly strong, so you know, keep that in mind. There isn't a whole lot of information available on these saws, but I have seen a bit of video on how to open these things up. So we'll see how it goes. See if I even have the right stuff. See if they made any mistakes shipping. It's a bit of a scary thing when you're ordering from across the pond. If things go wrong, it could take a while to make this right. So the skid actually looks in pretty good shape. I've seen some people recommending, yeah, there you go, that you get the box lined with uh, plywood. Obviously, I did not do that. I saw that too late. Oh. Okay. By the way, I apologize if my GoPro angle is terrible. This is my first time using my GoPro. So you maybe can't see, maybe you're just seeing like my shoes or the moon, I don't know. There it is, it's orange. That's a good sign. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, you probably are new because I have a tiny channel. Uh, I'd appreciate if you would subscribe if you're interested in sawmills because I should have a bunch more videos coming on this bad boy, including how to put it together. I'll probably show you how not to put it together, really. Stuffs. Why is everything so heavy? Man. Just trying to get at the stuff that will come out nicely before I cut open the crate. I think I just have to use. But I've seen you have to use an angle grinder then and zip some of these things off. Oh, it oh. Stuck in there. Hopefully sooner, oh, I was just gonna say, hopefully sooner or later I come across instructions. And there they are at the top. That is good. I think I'm gonna actually use these. You know, might not be a bad idea. Might not be a bad idea. Great. <laughs> Fuse, washer, some zip ties fell out. It's perfect.
English. Okay, there is some English. Good. Oh, that's just for the motor, it looks like. Here is my sawmill. So the 31 means 31 inches. That is the diameter of log that you can cut with this, the max size. All right. And we've got, yes, and I got the electric lift option on this one. That's what that paper is about, looks like. All well and good. And by the way, I have a, I don't know, crushed asphalt driveway. So I put down some plywood for the delivery driver. Um, Cause I don't have a forklift or a tractor or anything. So had to get a lift gate. That seemed to work pretty well for him. So something to consider if you are in a similar situation to me when you're getting a big delivery, put down some plywood so that their, uh, their pallet jack has something to roll on. Because as you may know, if you've ever used a pallet jack, a tiny stone can stop those things from rolling. So help the driver out. Okay, so this is the sawmill head here. That's what that is. I don't know if you can see it. That is a big boy. And this is the motor. Garbage. Okay. Garbage. Garbage. Oh boy. These are stuck together. These are heavy. So this is a bunk here. I believe it's eight inch steel. I'm just trying to debate which side of the pallet, the crate here I open up. I'm trying to remember what the video I saw which side he used. Wow, that thing is big. That's great. I don't know if it really matters. I don't know. This side has got stuff leaning against it. But the motor is also here. Wow. Um, let's see if I can just lift this up. Well, so far, things are in pretty good shape, which I'm grateful for. Corey, you have a knife. Let's use it. Try not to scratch stuff up too much as I pull it out. I should probably get more plywood too to put stuff on. Seems like I'm running out of room. I don't know what that piece is for. I have watched a whole lot of video on sawmilling lately. Um, and yeah, I was very interested in the Woodland Mills sawmills. Um, they have like a cult like following basically it seems um the customer service is apparently really incredible but then i discovered these and apparently these mills are very supposedly very very comparable to the woodland mills some people think that rima actually makes the woodland mills i don't know if that's actually the case or not May not be, um, but they're definitely both made in China and a lot of similarities. Anyway, this one was cheaper than the Woodland Mills. And I guess I'm a bit of a risk taker. And here we are. We'll see if I regret this or if I think it was great. Oh yeah, my can't hook. You can't look, it's the can't hook. 
Okay, time to get the grinder. Okay. Oh, nice. I should have probably used a <laughs> the cutting wheel instead of this. I might have to keep an eye on that. That's great. There you go. We do have a fire ban in effect right now too, so that's great. This is the handle. Oh, yeah, be careful. Be careful. This stuff's attached. So the rest of this, I'm not really looking forward to getting all this out. I'm probably the wrong side. I don't know. Maybe you want to open the end with a sawmill head. They definitely don't use a lot of extra packaging, I'll tell you that much. This is just great video, I'm sure, as I walk in circles. So the, yeah. Maybe I'll have to read the manual and come back when I'm better prepared. There's a bit more weight off. Surprised how few pieces it is. Okay, so I see some more bunks. Okay, that comes out. There's my cant hook. I ordered a cant hook. That was really cheap. I'm not expecting much from this cant hook, but I thought it can't hurt too much to try. Hmm. Interesting. If it's good, I'll wish I would have ordered like 20 of them probably and sold them. It's probably not good. That should work for maybe once I have the logs up on the mill. I do have another cant hook that I got from Princess Otto. I am in Canada. Ugh. It's red. It's not even orange. <laughs> I don't understand why Rima would not make their cant hooks match the color of their sawmills. Mind you, I've also seen Rima sawmills which are different colors, so they don't even seem to be married to the orange. Whatever. Pretty thin. This does not feel very strong. <laughs> Feels like a broom handle. Works. Yeah, does not seem super strong. But also I have a wood handled one. So maybe this is comparable to, yeah, I'm getting a bit carried away here. Huh. Time to move these logs. Anyways, I'm killing my grass. Anyway, that was a free aside. Can't hook. Kind of like the red, actually. I wish the mill were red and black. That would look sweet. I love red. Okay. So the log bunks. So one thing I'm a bit concerned about with the log bunks is I've seen some comments about them bending.
Now I don't have a tractor to load them, so I shouldn't be being exceedingly rough with them. I think it's only one eighth, one eighth inch steel. But I think, again, that's comparable to the Woodland Mills. So hopefully it's fine. Anyway, that is that. I gotta get to work. I'll check with you guys later. All right, so we're back. So I had a bit of time to look at the instructions, which do not appear very good. But regardless, I cut the wrong side of the crate. Well, this is fine, but you should cut the the side of the crate that the sawmill head faces. And then once you've pulled this down, you can carefully lay the saw head down onto something. Oh my God, a couple tires here. I'm going to do that. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to cut the, the crate here and I have a proper blade on my... What's it called? Angle, angle grinder now. Not a grinding wheel, I've got a cutting wheel now, so it should not take so long and I should not start the cardboard fire this time. See, so yeah, I just scored these ones on the bottom just so this bends over. Probably did not score enough. Actually. You know what, I think I'm actually going to cut that right off. We will cut it right out. Alright, there we go. So I think I'm just going to keep this cardboard underneath, just for a bit of extra protection. Actually, hmm, I'm seeing this ledge here, so I don't want to ding it up. So maybe I'll try to keep this in here to try and help protect it as I pop it over. Oh, I see. So it needs to go that way a little bit, which I had seen in a video. Now it makes sense. We're just gonna try pulling this. There we go. Okay. A bit more stuff that I can get. Oh. These are sharp, so don't catch your pants on them. That's okay. All right. Make sure you're blocks or whatever you use are in position. I think that's looking pretty good. You gotta figure out how to do this. This end here you can lift up. It's obviously not as heavy because It's not as heavy because the motor isn't on that side. Okay. Real life learning. This needs to come over further yet. Okay. I'm just scared I'm gonna damage this. That is already a little bit bent, to be honest. Not oh, my dirty fingers. Let's try not to get my clothes sliced up on here. Whoa. Okay. I need somewhere to stand, man. And I'd like to be close to where the engine is because that's where the weight's gonna be. Okay. It's okay. There we go. Wasn't too bad. 
I mean, we're on the tire. Just be careful with this. There we go. Oh. There we go. Okay. Saw heads off now. Now we got the track. You gotta pull this off. These are heavy, which is good. Which is good, what we want. These look like they're quarter inch thick. I think this piece is just a support part of the shipping crate. There we go. That is that. Yeah. That's just part of the carton. So at this point you can carefully get rid of your crate. I just made a hole in my pants, mommy. I'm sorry. Okay. I said carefully. I didn't really do it. So that's that. So now why don't I open up a couple of those boxes. All right, so that is the blade sharpener. We will get to that in a different video. But let's crack open these boxes yet to see what's in here. Cause I don't see much hardware, so I'm hoping hardware's in at least one of these boxes. I also ordered a bunch of spare parts as well. So one of these boxes may have extra parts. I think this is a clutch here. I think I ordered an extra clutch. I can't remember what I all ordered. It's got some good weight to it. I see grease in there. I think those are extra leveling feet for me. Yeah, these are some of my extra parts. Some extra brushes to clean the blade. All right. So you might not get that, that box if you didn't order it. Let's see what's in this box. I'm guessing these are more normal parts, but it could be wrong. Oh boy. That's a lot of feet. I don't know if there's a bag of screws or something or like bolts and stuff a lot of leveling feet Ah, oh, ha, 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 ha. So we got some stops, log stops. I think this is a log dog. Log dog, y'all. Okay, I don't need to take everything out of here. Yeah, log dog. See the spike there? A big old bag of bolts. Nuts and bolts. Yeah. So that's the unboxing, I think. 
And this here, I'm not sure what this is at the moment. Ah, yes, I got the electronic lift, the electric lift, motorized lift, whatever you call it. I believe that's what's in here, which unfortunately only has a metric display apparently. Which is really too bad. Even though I'm in Canada, we tend to use Imperial when it comes to lumber. So I don't know if this was a waste of money or not, but we'll see. Anyway, that's what that is. Okay. Don't spin that, that comes right out. Good to know. Hopefully won't need the e-stop button too much. That's that's great. Oh, okay, we turn it this way, then it won't unscrew. Word to the wise. All right. Yeah, and there's some other parts inside of some of these things. As you can see, got the scale. Some pulls. All right, I gotta do some more reading and figure out what's going on next and I'll be back later.